let's start the next topic data determination and collective processing so the topics we're going to see here are what is the function of sales document type okay so now we will we going into little bit into the the customizing okay so little bit here but not 100% <clears throat> what is the how the plant shipping and data uh, plant shipping and route is determined shipping shipment scheduling collective processing in sales order and distribution okay so what is the function of a sales document type Now in the system, we have different types of uh, sales order type. For example, we were using standard order, but we also have contracts, we have cash sale, we have rush order, we have free or delivery charge, we have return, we have consignment, we have credit debit, debit memo request. Okay. So <clears throat> if I show you practically, <coughs> so if I go back, if I try to create a new sales order, <coughs> And in the order type, if I open this icon, if I open the list of all the order types, <clears throat> you can see a big list here. Okay. Now most, a lot of them are, are like, I don't know what they are there, but never used. But the most commonly used are, which is OR. Okay. OR is a standard order, the one we were using. Then we have returns, like if a customer return uh, some goods. Okay. We will study more about this one later on. Rush order. Okay. Then we have some more like contracts. I'll show you. <clears throat> This one called cash cash sale and um, debit memo request, credit memo request, and all that. Okay, so <laughs> they're different types. Okay, <clears throat> so Okay, so there are different types of sales order types. Okay, so what are their function? <clears throat> okay, so a sales order type is used for, you can say, <clears throat> all these different functionality. Okay, for example, pricing, how the pricing should be defined, how the tra requirement transfer should be done, how the del delivery scheduling should be done, how the availability check should be done, text, message, credit check, and all that. Okay, <clears throat> but for example, if I show you, we'll study more about the customizing soon. But for example, if I show you that, um, if I go back one step, <coughs> if I want to go to the customizing, okay, so <clears throat> to go to the customizing, you need to enter the transaction SPRO. Okay, you can go it by this uh, menu path as well. And uh, customizing, <coughs> IMG, SPRO. So SPRO, <coughs> and click this icon, SAP reference IMG. Now this screen is the customizing, which is behind the SAP world, okay, that where we do all the changes and all the customizing. <coughs> so here, if I open sales order, sales and distribution, and sales, and sales document, sales document header, <coughs> and the first one, define sales document type. Here we can define different types of sales document. <coughs> For example, if I execute this one, if I open this one, it will give me the list of all the sales order types that we have in the system. Okay, that's all, all the sales order type. <coughs> so we have the quotation here. We also have standard order here, if I show you. <coughs> They're all in the alphabetical order. No, they are not. You can make them with a vertical if you want. Yes. Not sure why they're not coming up a vertical. <clears throat> but anyway, if I show you standard order. I can put the cursor on this position or I can search for it. <clears throat> Here I can say my search for order type OR. Enter. 
that's over. I will select this one and click on this detail scheme. Okay. So here we do all the customizing for a sales order type here. Okay. So how this sales, what is should be the number range, what should be this, what should be this, and all that. Okay. So we'll do some more customizing later on, but here just to let you know that what is the role of a order type. Okay. So all order types have different settings. <clears throat> for example, if a, this is standard order, it, it behaves differently. There's a rush order that behaves differently. There's a free of charge order. That's a good example. <clears throat> if I create a, something for a free of charge order, free of charge delivery, this one, then <clears throat> let me try to create one. <clears throat> let me open another, another screen. <clears throat> Go to VA01. <clears throat> Here I will search for free of charge delivery. <clears throat> If you can't find something, you can click on this icon and find, I will say free. See, delivery free of charge. Select that, press enter. Any order I create using FD, free of charge delivery, system will, what the name is saying, free of charge, that means system will not charge anything, doesn't matter what you're putting. That's how this order is customized. For example, if I order something here and uh, 100 pieces, system will say zero price. System will always say zero. See on the top, the price net value is zero. System not charging anything. Okay, that's that's why this 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 uh, system is uh, this sales order is customized. Okay, so doesn't matter what price you created for this material and this customer in the back end in the in the pricing, system will always always ignore that and it will always say zero price. Okay, so <clears throat> again we have like consignment, we have contracts. Okay, that behave a little bit different. Okay. So we'll study more about this one later on, but here, this, this is what I was showing you. Here we do, this is our sales order type over, and here we do all the customizing, okay? And even if I go back one step, if I try to find the quotation, quotation will have some different settings. See this one quotation, open that. <coughs> okay, this I have different settings. Also, we have a, 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 an a order type called inquiry. Okay, so so in the beginning, if you remember, I've shown you that first I created a I created a quotation. Then <coughs> then I created. Uh, sales order as a follow-up as a follow-up from this quotation then I created a, a delivery as a follow-up then I, I, I've done the post post good issue then I created a invoice or billing document okay also there's another type which is called inquiry if you want you can you can create another type you can add another type here which is called inquiry so first you will start with inquiry so customer called you over the phone. They're saying, "I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, interested in this or this laptop," and uh, they're inquiring. So you can create a document for inquiry as well. But it's something I hardly seen any company using this functionality. But you should know everything. Okay. So what they do is, if I go to this to the home page, <clears throat> so for that one. So it's similar to the quotation. Okay, <clears throat> I'll open logistic, sales and distribution, sales, inquiry. So there's inquiry, then quotation, then order. So V11, the same thing. I just create a. You need to enter inquiry type. So select inquiry type here. <clears throat> IN is a standard. Press enter, and the screen will be similar to the sales order screen. Here I will enter the customer number and material they are asking for. Okay, and they're saying I'm I'm interested in ten pieces or something. Okay, and the next time I will I will save it. Next time they will call me again, and I will they will, they will ask me for a quotation, and I will create a quotation as a follow-up from this inquiry. Okay, so but before we skip this one, we just use this um, flow. <clears throat> okay, so this is all about.